Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electric, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at this, the Alizetti 300C Friction Drive Conversion Kit. Let's take a look. Thanks for watching Electric. Feel free to join the discussion and we can make more great videos just for you. With the Alizetti 300C, I was expecting this friction drive system to be like all the others. Slow, noisy, powerless, and an overall chore. Now it is noisy and we'll talk about that. But otherwise, I've completely changed my mind about friction drive systems as a concept. The 300C is stronger, faster, easier to use, and it is hilariously loaded with features. So let's start there. First off, this is a conversion system. I've put it on a great donor bike with plenty of gears, good brakes, and most importantly, road tread and rack mounting provisions. As a kit, it went on very easily. The hardest part was deciding which mounting arms would fit. As a complete kit, this system really has it all. Front and rear lights, automatic brake lights, app connectivity, over-the-air updates, motion alarm, speakers for heaven's sakes, and the biggest promise of all, a mode that works in the pouring rain. Now all of these features are packed into the main unit and the front display itself. With this many features, you would think that they would have a larger display, but it's all packed in a single digit LED with a single platform rocked back and forth to engage the buttons. Now while I like simple displays overall, I felt like it was in contrast to all the many features that are almost hidden from the rider. Now as a system, it honestly felt like a hub drive bike, and that is a huge improvement already. Once up to speed, it cruised just fine on pedal assist, and with a tiny bit of momentum, it climbed hills just fine. Now I preface these experiences with a head start on the bicycle because, as a class 1 pedal assist, the engagement is not very quick. The Alizetti 300C is currently using a single magnet pedal assist sensor that is attached to the frame. With only one point of data, the pedal assist takes a bit of time to kick in. If you're looking for a peppy motorbike experience, then this one is not it. What you are getting is an all-in-one, feature-rich, class 1 e-bike that enables commuters to challenge the hills and distance with relative ease. So long as you're fine with some additional wear on your tire and sounding like a Jetsons car when you ride by, this could be a good choice for you. Friction drive systems have a deal-breaking drawback, which is performance in the rain. Now, I don't know how exactly, but Alizetti has solved this problem with their rain mode operation. Using the system in the rain causes the roller to slip and slide off of the tire again and again. But once I put the system in the aforementioned rain mode, it lowered the output and kept traction with surprising regularity. I was able to use the system just fine in the rain without slipping, and that already just seemed like magic to me. Now, for me, the biggest critical flaw for a friction drive has been solved, and now I view them as an interesting and perhaps viable option depending on the application. The whole system costs 850 bucks from top to bottom, which is really not bad for an all-in-one kit. Now, yes, there are plenty of other options out there for kits, parts, or even finished bikes, but let's face it, we love tech, we love the options, and we love to see every dog have his day. So there you have it. Thanks for watching the review of the Ollie Zeddy 300C, and I will see you guys on the later.